All right, 732 now happening right now. Police are looking for the person who stabbed a man after a possible case of road rage. So this happened overnight in Commerce City. We've got Jim Hooley. He's on it live from Commerce City Police Headquarters with more on what went down here, Jim. Yeah, Kirk, good morning. We're, we're working on this story right now. We definitely know there was a stabbing, a man stabbed, sent to the hospital. What police are really interested in trying to develop right now is the whether, in fact, this was a case of road rage. At this point in time, they're stressing that this possible road rage has sent this man to the hospital. That's all part of the investigation. But here's the latest on what's happening out here in Commerce City this morning. All this happened at about 9 o'clock last night over on Oakland Drive. That's just off 112th Avenue, a residential area just west of I-76. Police swarmed the area last night after the reports came in and they arrived on the scene. We saw officers going door to door. They had flashlights. They were looking for witnesses, evidence at the time. They went up and down the street between 112th and 113th. Now, we understand the victim was taken to the hospital, rushed to the hospital. But at this point, we do not have any word on their condition. That is not clear right now. How all this played out? Well, as we said, that's still under investigation at this hour as a possible case of road rage. And now uh, we have no suspect information. There's no description of a vehicle, anything like that. So police are trying to put all that together to work on that case right now. But obviously it's very concerning. One person stabbed, sent to the hospital. Police want to find out exactly who did this. If you have any information whatsoever, again, it happened about nine o'clock last night over on Oakland Drive, the west side of 76. Please contact investigators here in Commerce City. In Commerce City at headquarters this morning, I'm Jim Hooley, Fox 31. All right, Jim, thank you.